Hey everybody, it's me, Scott Galaxy. I have another unreleased game to show you today. So don't go anywhere. This one is a pretty cool one. Hey everybody, Scott Galaxy here, and today I am opening another fun package. It is another game, and it is clearly, as it's stated in the uh, title of this, an unreleased game, and this one is Virtua Hamster. Uh, this is a game that was specifically in mind for the 32X. It was supposed to show off what the 32X could do, and we'll take a look at that here in a little bit. We'll do some gameplay, but first I want to show you the box and what you get with this. So as you can see here, it is in a hard clamshell uh, casing. Uh, it is for the Mega Drive 32X. I actually got this off of Etsy. So if you're interested in doing that, I, I actually don't think they sell this anymore on there. You can certainly check. Just do a Google search for Virtua Hamster on Etsy. I don't think they're on there anymore. So uh, I, th I feel like I got lucky on this one. But um, anyway, it's a really nice shell. They did a really good job with the, uh, the front artwork and the back artwork. And then, of course, when you open it up, uh, it looks great. There's a there's the manual inside, and um, yeah, let's just take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the manual. So the colors look great. I mean, it's it's really vibrant. It's it's clearly something that isn't you know professionally made. It does feel like you know it was put on someone's printer and they did a good job with it. But um, anyway, the the pamphlet is really cool. It just kind of takes you through the entire story of of uh, what what this development was like for Virtua Hamster, all the artwork that comes with it, the um, concept art, and um, and then basically why it failed, and, uh, and kind of the story, of course. But um, whoever did this, they did a great job of putting this all together and letting us kind of see it. The interesting thing about this is that even though it was canceled on the Sega 32X, or the Mega 32X, depending on where you're at, uh, development for it did move over to the Saturn and it was almost completed from what I understand and uh, unfortunately it just got cancelled um, and it just never appeared anywhere so this is kind of a fun little thing to have because it just never ever was released anywhere so let's uh, let's pop it in and see what this thing looks like So this is Virtua Hamster, and like I said, it was canceled for the Sega 32X. Um, and uh, this is supposed to be the most advanced version of this prototype. So what you're seeing here is basically what they got done for the Sega 32X. So let's talk about the story behind this. Now the, the hamster himself is called Chip. Uh, he is the world's fastest skateboarding hamster. And along with the plans to his tiny jetpack, he's been stolen by a greedy inventor bent on selling super secret hamster spies to the military. Imprisoned in the inventor's sprawling test lab, Chips got to find all the parts of the pack's plans and break out of the long and winding tunnel test track. Problem is, there's only one way out of Chips' cage, and everybody's against him, including other rocket riding rodents and a very hungry mechanical snake. High speed chases with awesome graphics are to follow. And as you can see here, these are pretty cool tunnel graphics here. It certainly does show off what the 32X was capable of. And I think, you know, if you added all the sound effects and, and gameplay, this would have been a serviceable game. It wouldn't have been a great game, but it would have been a serviceable game. And at least it would have showed off what the 32X can do instead of just another game that was ported from the Genesis to the 32X with more color and possibly even some better audio. But this one was a, an original idea at the very least. And as you can see, I mean, it gets kind of monotonous after a while. I mean, you know, again, without gameplay, you're just a, a, a rodent in some tubes going for a long period of time. There's different colors of tubes that you got to go through. And quite honestly, I don't think you ever, ever, ever reach an ending. So it's just essentially continuing, continuing, continuing. I mean, this kind of reminds me of maybe like some of the bonus stages that you would find on like Sonic the Hedgehog. 
But again, I probably, had I had a 32X at the time, I probably would have bought this game because a, like I said, it was it was a unique idea that was not going to be on any other system, and um, and because there really weren't a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of options. So, any rate, that is Virtua Hamster in a nutshell. I know that there's not much here to look at, but it's cool nonetheless. And uh, now it's something I can just kind of pop in from time to time, and and I'm a sucker for these kind of things to see, you know, what these developers were doing back then. Um, but that's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, if uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, hit that bell, and um, check out any of the other number of videos that I have. And uh, I welcome you back for the next one. So until then, I'm Scott Galaxy, and we'll see you again, hopefully.